Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. In today's episode, we're going to get right into it. We have a battle to win, as you can see here, Bishop Alexander, and quite a few other guys. I'm waiting here just for patrols, because I want to get up to, like, here-ish, probably. There we go. They saw me. The combat started very... <laughs> immediately. Um, okay. So things that I don't necessarily want is archers on high ground. Um, honestly, Bishop Alexander is probably one of the bigger threats. I'm going to have to wait through magic armor is the reality of the situation. Alexander has a shitload of it, but he also has a shitload of physical armor, so I'm less worried. Um, also, this music is fantastic. Elemental Affinity, we want water down. That'll make my water spells cheaper. Meaning I can do a double double tap here. I mean that was a good encourage. Credit where it's due. Um, this guy I don't think I have to worry about. Uh, actually, I probably do, because it can probably do its dash thing annoyingly. Um, although, standing in water, which is nice. I think what we do here is freeze her. I can hit both of these guys with them. I didn't freeze her, which surprises me. But whatever. Um, he's nearly out of magic. They're both nearly out of magic armor, actually. That could do it. Frozen chilled. That should freeze him. There we go. I don't necessarily want to go that close to that ladder. Um... I'm going to do an Encourage as well. It's a fairly good buff. Phoenix Dive. Annoying. Also annoying. That's fine. I usually kill her first, but I think I'm going to leave her for a while. The Geist is chameleon clicking. Okay. Uh, the guys can't climb ladders, is what I was saying before, by the way. Um, which makes them fairly easy to take out in the grand scheme of things. That's why I wanted that archer frozen, by the way. Because they're assholes. Um... Oh, it's frozen. Oh, she... I don't know why she's frozen. I guess she somehow got wet on that turn? I don't... Whatever. Alright. Let's get up here. We probably want to teleport the archer down to here. And that a big one. He slowed, thankfully. I mean, he did it to himself. Thunderbolt grenade. Kind of sucks, but whatever.
I really have to be very careful about my magic armor. Very careful. Um... Silencing stare there to get some magic armor back. Also has the added benefit of doing some damage, which is nice. Hmm. I honestly don't really know what to do here. The Magister Swordsman doesn't have physical armor, which means I can shackle it. Uh, what Shackles of Pain does, by the way. Uh, this is now given to me by the helmet. It used to give me Source Vampirism. Uh, but since we got rid of the, um, demon, I was going to say vampire, since we got rid of the demon that was in it, it now gives us shackles of pain. And what this does is I can mark the target, it's blocked by physical armor, but she's actually out of physical armor. And we are now linked together, so any damage done to me will be done to her as well. Um, which usually has the effect on the AI that they tend not to attack you. I mean, Alexander's going to get a go, and I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about that. Um, I mean, he's... I think the only thing I can do is adrenaline here. And then hit him. Like, that's it, really. That wasn't a horrible move by him. Although it was helpful. Because now the worm is here. Tell him to shut up and fight. This creature won't discriminate between you. Um, so I don't want to be here. same time, I want to kill Alexander and Co. <laughs> um. Excuse the coughing. Um, I'm no longer going to be invisible, but I think it's worth it just to do uh, some buffs here. And we'll do some rain right here, which should clear this oil as well as put me in water, so that next turn I should be able to use all my ice moves on the Red Prince. I think these guys should now focus the, the Drill Worm, for the most part. And the fact that Drill Worm is staying up there is actually quite useful for me, to be honest. It may move. Yep, it did. Alexander's dead. That's something. Um, this thing no longer has physical armor, which means I'm going to use necro spells on it. Um, it's just the, the smarter thing to do in this scenario. Can I hit both? 
should be able to hit both here, I think. I can't. They're just far enough apart that I can't hit both. Um, well, then I guess do that. Alright, so they're both frozen, so they missed their turns. I'm a little worried about the Red Prince. To the point where I'm going to bless the Red Prince. They're calling me a murderer. They're not wrong. Um... So I'm blessed, which is nice, I suppose. I'm gonna shields up. Once again, physical damage. It's the way to go here, I think. Um, I'm standing in fire, which is never a good idea, but it's gonna whirlwind me. Son of a bitch. Um, alrighty then. Hmm. Interesting. I think shield's up for her as well. And I'm actually going to use that, which will haste me, and get rid of the haste immediately, but it's, I'm not slowed, at least. I was slowed, now I'm normal speed. That did some damage, but luckily... Uh, Necrofire has some piercing effects, I believe. I should be able to do some damage here, and doing so should recover my health. There we go. Alright, it no longer has armor, which is good. <coughs> Sorry, I was just sneezing. Hopefully that didn't pick up on the, ca on the microphone. Or rather, I suppose, more accurately, hopefully I remembered to cut it out from my recording. I always do encourage last, because it's like, it's one of those things where... What I should... She has flay skin, goddamn. Um... What I should do is I should encourage first. But the only reason I ever encourage is if I'm like, oh, I have one ability point left over. <laughs> Alright, this should kill the draw one. There we go. Leaves us with just these two. Which I'm pretty confident I can get rid of. The Metamorph is going to have to come down to us, I believe. I don't think she's got the high enough ground to be able to attack us. Um, I'm going to keep Teleport on the off chance that... I need it later. She can teleport us, interesting. Hmm. Well, this is kind of in trouble here. Except she can say the metamorph, we're fine. Take a trip into Cursed Fire. Um. She's floating, goddammit. I can't put her into curse fire. Unless I knock her down. I guess just lightning her. Can't see her. I guess give myself uncanny evasion is probably not a horrible idea. And... 
And peace of mind room is burning, so I'll do that next turn if I actually get lit on fire. Sure, end turn. Um, still have physical. Can I get rid of the physical? I can, which means I can shackle her. Oh, he's petrified, so I can't teleport him. <laughs> um, do some lightning here, take him out. So it's just this metamorph. It's all I've got to deal with. I think I can deal with that fairly simply. Just exploded herself into fire. Um, so it looks up here, up into electricity by the look of things. I didn't notice that, but actually it's kind of useful because it'll cheapen all my spells. Uh, do this for health recovery. Which will give you more... I don't have Living Armor yet. I usually have Living Armor by this point. There's a perk you can get in this game called Living Armor, and when you heal, you get Magic Armor back. Um, I'm used to having it, which is why I did that. Um, hmm. Peace of mind on the Prince, I think. Hmm. I guess... I don't really know what to do, if I'm being honest. Magic armor's gone. That's something. Heart of Steel will give her physical armor back, but I don't really care. Oh, she's immune to stun, isn't she? So, Laura, get off there, please. Um, I just need to end this quickly so Solara doesn't die. Because he's a fucking idiot. Shield does not go mad. You were just standing in electricity. Alright. So, that fight managed to be done. Um, we're going to end up going like almost directly into another fight straight away. So, I'm actually going to talk to Melody down here. Uh, who's just shown up. Well, well. Quite the mess you've made here. I'm Melody. And you're... She steps forward, grabs you behind the neck with alarming strength, and pulls you close. She sniffs twice, her nose at your ear, then bites, piercing the lobe with a needle-sharp fang. I'm not sure we have earlobes. The lizards have earlobes? I don't think so. She releases you and grins, running tongue over teeth. God woken. Um... I owe with caution. Say you've heard of her. We have. And I've heard of you. You're what gets some of us out of bed each day. What do you make of that? Tell her you've seen and heard plenty of strange things lately. All you want to see is the picture behind the puzzle. Well, first things first. She peers at you closely, a knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? Soul sister, and she taught me how to grant blessings. Her eyes go wide. <clears throat> Go on then. Show me what she taught you. Need sauce. Oh, like that. Right, hold on then. She takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to do the same to her. She closes her eyes and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hands into your body. Suddenly, you feel the familiar swell of sauce within you. Interesting there, that she can cast sauce. In fact, she can more than cast source, she can manipulate it enough that she can just give her source to somebody else. Also, another interesting thing, what happens when we bless her? Hey, that stings. That stings? 
She examines her hands, where the skin sizzles slightly beneath their newfound aura. As the spell fades, the skin heals once more. Her whole body seems to relax. That's an interesting note. You really are Godwoken. Most people don't singe on the skin when you cast Bless on them. I'm... happy. Oh, how unbecoming. Come then, we set sail, your destiny awaits, etc. Tell her to be specific, what destiny does she mean? You'll have to ask the Meister about that. She's dying to meet you. Melody beckons you to the boat. After you, darling. Uh, if you choose to leave the area after this message, you will not be able to return again. Uh, your open question will be closed and archived. Meister, who are you referring to? Boat first, questions later. Ask her to wait. <sighs> As you wish. Okay, so I don't have any um, quests to do, but I have to loot all these guys. Um, it's weird to me that it doesn't, like, get you to loot them before. Like, it's like, oh, you can leave. Which, like, loot. I mean, are you kidding? Um, so I think I got them all. Uh, the only other thing is, there's a chest over here. Right here. There is also a chest out this way over here, which I don't think I got, so I may go grab that as well. But then, it's probably going to be the end of the episode. So, I'll do my sign-off as I walk over here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. I didn't actually time how long that was, so this might end up being a short video, or might be a long video. I'm not actually sure how long the fight took. Um, simply because... Next episode, we're going to go on the boat, and then a whole bunch of shit's going to happen. It's going to be a fairly long episode, so... I figured, get this done, and then next episode, tomorrow, we'll be able to actually leave Act 1 properly and enter Act 2. That was a lot of shit. I guess I'll go over all the stuff I got. Crafting Bible, that's nice. Don't care about the grenade. This is damn good. Um, yeah, it's a pretty massive upgrade for her. Alexander's Journal. No one can understand the frustration and shame of being the feeble son of a formidable divine. I reach for the source within, yet the spring runs dry. Vredeman shows such patience, soothing me when rage threatens to overwhelm. His command of the source is astounding. He says my talents will soon burst forward, like a bound ogre breaking its chains. How fortunate that Dallas does such a fine job maintaining the divine order on my behalf while I study. Under Vredeman's tutelage, perhaps I will be godwoken in more than name. It's interesting there. It seems that at least at one point, he was attempting to actually control his source. Um, I already have this, but I can go into the backpack with all the other spells. That's fine. Alexander's Cloak. Two strength, one retribution. And it gives you blinding radius. Radiance, not radius. Um, maybe. Level 2. Can we identify that? She can. Wits and Hydrosophist. Both good. Again, maybe. Probably definitely over that. We have an unidentified staff. I'm not going to use a staff, but it's quite a nice one. 100% chance to ignite, 100% chance to melt surfaces. Interesting. A ring. Interesting. Uh, go in there. Sell, sell, sell. I can go in there. Identify. 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 Uh, that we can immediately sell. Water resistance and pyro. Not a horrible ring, because it gives me a fair amount of defense, but I don't think I want it. Pyro is not worth it. Uh, strength and Perseverance. I'll keep that because of the added strength. It's nice to have plus strength occasionally. And then Earth Resistance at 17 HP. That's also a possibility. Alright, so you can go in there. Alright, I think we're good. Um, it was essentially just inventory management there, but we were going through new loot, so I figured it's probably a fair enough thing to, to go over. 
Alright, so next time, we're going to talk to Melody and head to the boat with all the Seekers. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.